here. You're here all week, Ross. I am here all week, girl. I'm not leaving. Oh, good. I don't want you to. <laughs> I'm so excited. Thank you. And lots to talk about. Lots going on in the world. By the way, it was hard. Like, I, we had to edit stories out. There's just so much going on. All right. Well, first up, we have got to wish the Dodgers and the Rays best of luck tonight because it's time for sports, sports, sports. Okay. <laughs> Can I actually do the whistle live next time? I think if we're going to talk sports, someone should give me a whistle. I, you know what? That's happening tomorrow. Done, check. Perfect. Thank check, you. check, any check. Thank okay. You. It's Game Six, and the Dodgers lead three to two. If they win, it'll be their first title since 1988. And if the Rays win, well, we've got an even more exciting baseball game at higher stakes tomorrow night. So good luck to LA <laughs> and good luck Tampa Bay. Hey, that rhymes, Ross. Big sports fan? Well, so okay, I like football. I watch the Seahawks. So I pay attention to the World Series when the uh, when the what is it, the Dodger? Um, you see, understands, right? I don't really. I hope people who want to score a goal score a goal tonight. Whatever, however it works, good for them. <laughs> you know what I do watch though is a league of their own, like 537 times a year. It's the best movie ever. You know, I you, just rewatched it the other day. You want to have your mind blown? Before I came out, Rosie O'Donnell texted me that she's watching right now. Hi, no Rosie. way! Yes, oh I swear God. to God! She's amazing Speaking in that of League movie. of Thrones. Yeah. Oh my God, and she was like best friends with Madonna all the way May. Um, <laughs> You know her name. I love it. Well, speaking of fun feminine stories, this one really spoke to me. Um, people report that Jenna Bush Hager shared an amazing story. And back when the Obamas first moved into the White House, she and her sister Barbara gave Sasha and Malia the grand tour. They showed them their new bedrooms. And what Jenna remembers most is teaching the girls to slide down the banister in the solarium. And it was the Bush sisters' favorite thing to do. And now the Obama sisters were there and happy to take over. I mean, Ross, I know. come on. Isn't this the best visual ever? Four first girls sliding down a banister, a grand banister on a loop forever. Yeah, it's the way that it should be, right? This tra transfer of power. And I just think maybe we should make a rule that from now on, after every election, the, the former first family and the new first family get together and they do like a movie night, Manny petties facials. <laughs> I mean, I just love this story. It's so sweet. And it just, these four girls at their, you know, tender young mm -hmm. ages being like so cute and sliding down banisters. It's so wholesome. I can't even handle it. I had to talk about it's it. Adorbs. It's, it's really adorbs. adorbs. I know. Okay. You know what's another thing that makes me really happy? What? The smell of chicken. And Jack in the Box agrees, apparently. Uh huh. Because the Washington Post reports that the chain is giving away chicken scented masks for free. They protect you from COVID and make you hungry all day long. And look, we've got some here. Are you going to try it? Or are you too chicken? Oh! <laughs> Why did the chicken cross the road, Ross? <laughs> to get to Jack in the Box? That's right. That's right. Uh, hold on. Does it really smell? Oh, my God. It really. <laughs> Like, if you've got a dog in the house. <laughs> that is hardcore chicken smell. Okay, I wonder if the scientists really, like, studied this or if they just winged it. Oh, <laughs> no, and I'm telling you, it really smells like chicken and, like, fries. It's got that Pavlovian, like... Yeah. You, oh, here we go. Yeah, we're going to have this. It's giving me, in the most comforting way ever, like, food court smell. And don't you miss a mall walking oh, through? Oh, yes. Yeah. You're like, are we going like to the walk place or this place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I you want to get an orange Mexican. drink? Yes, orange yeah. Julius. I know. All right. Well, can Ross, I keep? Can I keep this? Absolutely. I'm sort of into it now. I think Jack in the Box because they sent these to us. Thank you, Jack in the Box. Thank you. Um, and I'm a West Coast gal, so. Um, Ross, I think you have a little entertainment news for us. Oh yeah. Hey, hit me. It's time for entertainment news. <laughs> <laughs> Of culture. Okay, uh, CNN Business reports Mattel has launched a limited edition Elton John style Barbie. The day has finally come, all right? Elton John has his Barbie, and you know how hard it is to get your hands on these. You can't do it, you can't find one. Guess you. what? Yeah? Mattel sent us one. I know, I was setting it up. Look! Ah! By the way, I have to say, she is kicking hot. Can I tell you, this is the ultimate gay goal to have your own Barbie. And uh, now all I want is a Ross Matthews Barbie and mine would be in a caftan playing bingo in Palm Springs. Oh. What would you, if you, I know you had a Barbie with Charlie's Angels, right? I did, and then my daughter opened the box and I had been saving it, but then I was like, oh my God, I so don't want to be that jerk. Who's like, um, that's my Barbie and we got to keep it in the box. I was like, you know what, play with it. That's perfect. But you know who I really think that she would bond with? Huh. 
Oh, God. Oh, Here we go. oh Courtney! All right. It's from the 80s American Girl doll, Courtney! <laughs> Oh, I think you two are going to have some wild times. Trust me, the 80s are like <laughs> the funnest. Okay, ready? Hold on. Hey, Courtney. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Elton. Hey, let's partay. Love the skirt. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, I feel like Courtney might need to go to the American Girl salon. Yeah, she might need an American Girl brush. Yeah, <laughs> she really she might. She might need a blowout. Well, speaking of... Oh, wait, you have more news. Well, oh, yeah, I, I do. Because speaking of icons, people are... And this is the story of the day we have to talk about. People are up in arms about Drake. I love Drake. Oh, my God, I love he Drake had so a, much. He had his 34th birthday recently. And on the menu, we got a sneak peek, and the menu is extensive, but there was one item we have to discuss. He served mac and cheese, Drew. Now, are you a fan? of mac and cheese it's um my favorite food on planet earth uh okay well then you're gonna care as much as i i call mac and cheese a gateway carb for me so i try not to eat it but drake added a little bit to it uh in the menu there was tomatoes capers parsley and are you ready for this the most controversial issue of 2020 raisins in his mac and cheese drake it's no good um, I mean, Drake is the hottest, coolest, most exciting, perfect, amazing, cool, killer guy ever. But raisins? Ooh. I know. I'm going to tell you this. You know what's perfect about mac and cheese? Everything. Mac and cheese, They're right? <laughs> Drake, don't worry. Our forefathers figured it out. You don't have to add anything to it. It's perfect as is. Mac and cheese. If you're going to use your noodle, use it on something other than mac and cheese. Well, listen, Drake, we love you. And we're sorry we don't love raisins and mac and cheese, but we love you, and I'm going to eat this all through the commercial.